in Saigon Railway Station and we are going to head over to Da Nang on an overnight train. We booked this trip online about two months ago. This trip will be approximately 17 hours starting from here at about 7.45 p.m. and arriving the next day in Da Nang at 12.30 p.m. I didn't even realize it was that long actually. We were recommended to take the SE4 train which is one of the newer trains. There are three different types of carriages. One of them is just seats. There's a four passenger berth carriage and there's a six passenger berth carriage. There are some trains that do two but the ones running from Saigon to Da Nang, we do not have those unfortunately so we will have to share with someone else but I don't think that will be much of a problem. The entry gate is like train tickets at a subway station so you need to tap your printed ticket out. If you don't have it, you just show your online boarding pass and they'll have a card after they check yours to scan you in for you. Mm, it tells you from where you're going to where you are and then it has basic English. As long as you've checked your booking, it says it right there. So there, that's the type of train. The next one is coach, so which carriage you're in. The cabin is the room number. Sleeper for birth, that's the four bed room option. We have one upper bed, one lower bed. Since we booked online, we get a service fee because it's through an English website because we do not have a Vietnamese credit card. And that's about it. It's pretty simple, actually. I think it's not too bad. It's actually like better than I thought it would be. It, it looks fairly well kept. So there's a USB port and a light for charging at every bit. They gave us free water. That's good. There's a rubbish bin located under the table. In terms of the overhead bit over the door here, the main flap part seems to be pretty clean if you want to store your bags at the top. Uh, there are hooks next to my head. The bathroom is only on one side, but you can access sinks on both ends of the carriage. Let's just point out how big this bit is. I am 150 centimeters. That's not very big at all. So if you are taller than the average 12 year old, this might be a tight <laughs> As you can see, it's really hard to get off and so that's probably why the bottom bunk is more expensive because it's handier, it's more convenient, it's just a hassle to get the two top bunks I think. and then they'll quickly rush to deliver food to whoever pays during one of the stops. And it's 35,000 dong for this. Very simple. And the rice is sticky. This one is very salty. As soon as the other family left, they actually cleaned up the bed instead of replacing it. So we can't actually guarantee how clean these mattresses or pillows are and how often they've been washed. It was pretty not dramatic. Here we are in Da Nang. We made it. We made it. The details of how we did it will be linked in the website article, which we will put down below. But otherwise, this is our first time doing an overnight train. And the most awkward angle ever. I know. 